Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob, better known as Rob, and my wife, Sherry. Sherry. And as promised, we said we we're going to do a video about our puppies. And uh, we're kind of winging it. We have a little breeze today, so, um, and we had to put the sun in our eyes, so if we're squinting a lot, we're sorry. Um, we are using bribery tools to try to get these dogs to sit still. So I'm going to start off with Cinder. And Cinder is a almost eight years old. She's over eight. She's over eight? Yep. Wow, she's over eight years old. And uh, she's a purebred chocolate lab. And uh, we were a one dog family for quite a while. And Cinder's been part of our family for a long time. So we actually didn't think bringing in another dog was actually, uh, I don't know, I felt like maybe Cinder might be upset about it. Um, but at the same time, um, we're kind of concerned that she wasn't getting enough exercise and stuff like that. So Cinder uh, is uh, a very calm dog, but very puppy-like. For the most part, yeah. yeah she plays, uh, plays hard and she's uh, uh, always been playful. Um, She's not super cuddly. My belt. And, uh, <laughs> literally. Uh, she's not a super cuddly dog, but she definitely likes to snuggle once in a while. Not like a golden retriever or anything. So, the other thing I wanted to bring up is we're, I've always liked German Shepherds, but I think uh, a lot of us all think German Shepherds could be mean. <laughs> or temperamental or anything like that so we we're really leery we were, well one of the reasons i was concerned was because they they're so energetic and with our age i was a little concerned that it was too much for uh, too much energy for for us yeah and so uh finally what eight months ago we made the decision to uh go ahead and get a uh a puppy, German Shepherd, crossing our fingers that it'd work out good, and it's turned out to be the greatest thing we ever did. Not just for having Belle, our German Shepherd, but it was a wonderful thing for Cinder, our chocolate lab. So, like most Labradors, they tend to get a little overweight, and uh, uh, as soon as we moved from Phoenix. She doesn't like the pool, so she, uh, <laughs> we thought, oh my gosh, we got a dog that hates the water, and we have a pool, and, uh, and we have one that loves the pool. <laughs> yeah, she loves the pool, but here on the five acres, uh, it's turned out that these two play like puppies, and just recently, um, we had to get uh, our dog's you know, latest and shots and their annual, checkup. annual checkups and stuff. And we found out that Cinder has lost seven pounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the vet says she's incredibly healthy. Cinder, come. So we'll be calling dogs back and forth here a lot. So they uh, they don't sit still very long. Um, so anyway, so man, I mean, to watch these two play in this yard is amazing. They are uh, wrestling all day long. They cover every inch of this property. <laughs> Yep. And Belle has turned out to be a, a charming dog. Um, I, I think when you watch our videos, you'll see them wrestling and tumbling and then sometimes barking at the dog next door. And it's really interesting to learn a couple of things about one is a dog that has ears that go up. And here in Oregon, we got to worry about cheatgrass. And so the concern with ears is a lot more with a German Shepherd than say cinder because her her ears tend to be a little bit more protected so we're constantly having to clean the ears and also german shepherds don't exactly like you playing with their ears um but they do like them actually she does really well when we do clean her ears um the other thing is when they get excited or see things german shepherds are really uh noisy um uh, they're very vocal. <laughs> of course, this one can be vocal too, but this one is very vocal. 
at the funniest things. Um, what's some of the things you've observed, the differences between the two dogs? Well, water is one. That's the biggest one. Yeah. This one like loves one water. One dog loves the water and the other one just hates it. hates it. But we did, because we had a pool in Phoenix, or Arizona, we did teach him how to swim. Yep. So that was important. So we know she can swim, but she does like to play in the water. <laughs> um, when it comes to eating, we put both of the dog, <laughs> both of the dogs, on gentle giants, which is a grain-free, free food, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they seem, uh, uh, they seem to do well with it. Yeah. Um, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. It's not that bad. No. And then we also give them salmon. Uh, gentle giant salmon, uh, half can. They sp uh, shit. They split a, a half a can of uh, salmon uh, when we have it to get a little bit of extra vitamin E. And so their diets seem to be doing well with them. They seem to be happy with that kind of diet. And do they get people food? <laughs> uh, a few little snacks here and there. <laughs> um, and let's see, the other thing I was going to tell you is like, uh, I know a lot of people are kind of, oh, sometimes they let their dogs sleep with them and sometimes they don't. But Cinder has always slept on the bed with us. Well, now we got this new dilemma of now she wants to come up on the bed with us. So they're fine. It's just the people in the bed are in the way. In the way. So when we wake up, I find us like eight inches of the bed is all we get when these two dogs are all sprawled out. Um, but uh, the other thing is, she doesn't know she can jump. She actually, when she doesn't think about it, she can jump like crazy and she's really fast. But when it comes to bedtime, she can't figure out how to jump on the bed. <laughs> this is not a bad thing. No, but it's like, I know she can jump and she knows she can jump, but she hasn't learned that yet. The other thing we also learned about the German Shepherd is when they're growing, they have to grow into their ears and they grow into their feet because they're really big when they're little. And now that she's at this age, there's something we've noticed about both of them. Hey guys, you want a treat? We need our dogs hey. back. Come here. Send her a bell. Um, her smell and her hearing has grown immensely to a point that I don't think she even totally understands it. And so she hears things that are amazing and smells things very easily. She can find lizards and rocks, catches mice now. And, uh, and it's, she, it's new. It's I mean, new to her. It just started, we really started noticing the heightened senses yeah. in about the last, just the last few weeks. Yeah, it's, it's been kind of funny to watch because she hears things and she trying to learn how to interpret where it's coming from and all that but she's, she's hearing not. the fire trucks before we hear them and she starts howling at the fire trucks yeah i mean uh, when a fire truck is around this area which isn't very often uh they're definitely singing their hearts out to us how's your treats over there mom uh, got three left. <laughs> so uh bribery works the best with these two uh cinder was formally trained yes and Bell here hasn't, so we've been trying our best when we get a chance to give her leash training and stuff. But very smart dog, she responds well. Um, even little things that are new to her is like we go for a car ride, and she's just discovering she can stick her nose out the window because the other dog was doing it and couldn't understand why. But they also travel really well because we've driven from here to Arizona. And Arizona back a few times, and both of them, amazingly enough, for two big dogs, do really well uh, on long hauls. And so that's been a blessing. Mm -hmm. So, what other thing you found out unique about the German Shepherd? She itches. <laughs> yeah. So, come here. Go. Send her. So, we found that uh, German Shepherds, um, we've talked to more than one owner, and they say for they just itch all the time. We do not have fleas here. And uh, she's just constantly itching. And uh, even the vet says, she's fine. <laughs> you might want to give her uh, Benadryl. Benadryl once in a while. 
if she's really itching a lot, but um, a friend of ours got a full-size German Shepherd and she says, yeah, they just itch all the time. And we are finding that Jay, she does blow out her fur pretty good, but the Chocolate Lab, Cinder, come. Um, the Chocolate Lab, you wouldn't think it, but she can uh, get a lot of fur in the house too. Oh yeah. <laughs> but she seems to lose it faster in clumps. She goes through spurts. Yeah. Through stages. This one is more, uh, Cinder is more constant. Yeah. And it's fun to watch them eat too because she, if you watch her eat, she chews up her food. As opposed to this one, I can... she doesn't even chew it. <laughs> and so we'll give them treats and she'll get the full taste of it, taste it and chew it all up. This one just, oof. It's gone. Gone. So we've been uh, really pleased that the two different combination of dogs, because she's so stout and strong uh, as a Labrador, can handle her bouncy playness. Yeah. And so she, when she's jumping on her and they're rolling, uh, Cinder's definitely the stronger dog for now. At the moment. At the moment. Um, which has been good because she's never had a dog or a puppy around her. And so this thing, you know, this crazy dog of ours will jump on top of her and around it. And since Cinder's so stout, um, uh, she basically bounces off. Yeah. And uh, so they've been a good combination. So, uh, so we wanted to kind of just tell you a little bit about the dogs. They're discovering new things because they've got all this property now. It's been really good for them. Really good. Very good. Yeah. And uh, uh, they're well-behaved dogs, but they uh, they have new stimuluses here. Like, uh, how's your supplies are? Good. Lots of deer. Um, discovering different animals. Uh, and the other thing is funny about her is she likes to chase butterflies. Oh. Which is hilarious. <laughs> and, and it's not even necessarily the butterflies. She'll chase the shadows of the butterflies. She'll spend hours out here chasing butterflies. And we don't see them anymore, but we're getting a lot of monarchs. And uh, she could be, be out here for hours chasing butterflies or butterfly shadows. And now she, she's starting to do the birds instead. Yeah, she likes to chase the bird shadows too. Or chase birds, but she's not hurting them or anything or catching them. She's just... Uh, very playful and uh, she's got tons of energy and uh, both of them have really bad gas <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately <laughs> but the best thing about both of the dogs they play well and they make us smile every, every single day yep especially the new ones I really love the little pup the German Shepherd because of what she's done for the chocolate lab, I think she's going to make our chocolate lab live a lot longer. Yeah. And be Cinder healthy. Has kind of turned into a little puppy yourself again. Yeah. So we've been a very young dog. So grateful to this little one here uh, for what she's done for the old dog. And, uh, and Cinder, it's even feels funny calling her an old dog. I know. Because um, she's just like a puppy now. So Cinder, treat. <laughs> This one loves her treat. And the treats we're giving them is just their normal kibble. They're just yeah. very small pieces yeah. of their normal kibble. Yeah, all this is is a gentle giants and uh, just their normal food. No sugar in them, no, uh, no grain. And, uh, and they're very, both pretty, pretty gentle. So anyway, in the comments below, if you have any questions about our chocolate lab and how good a house dog she is and how good she is on the property or the uh, German Shepherd. Now you gotta remember a German Shepherd is a herding dog. So you've noticed when we do videos you'll see her kind of excited around the chickens and stuff and I think it's a part of her natural instinct to want to herd them. And she tends to uh, follow you and nip at your uh, ankles sometimes. Uh, because it's a natural instinct of theirs, and so it's kind of hard to get used to. Well, it's not really a nipping. It's it's almost like she's she's just kind of pushing at your ankle, <laughs> yeah. you know, trying to force you to go in certain directions. Yeah, and I didn't actually realize a German Shepherd was a herding dog, um, but I found out real quick 
uh, that they are because she tends to do it to Cinder too. Nips at her back legs behind her. Not hard, just uh, just kind of a little push thing. Yeah. Or you get their attention. So it's kind of interesting to see how she operates. But uh, it's been really fun to have a dog with ears that stick up, cuter than heck. Cinder is just a, a very smart dog and has taught her a lot of things. But now that she's getting older, her senses are getting more acute. And it's really going to be fun to watch her in the next uh, year or so uh, change her ways. Oh, the other thing you probably might ask is, are we going to breed our dogs? And the answer is probably, uh, well, no for Cinder for sure. We already had her spaded. And we thought about it, but we've got so much going on that we probably don't want puppies. No. So she hasn't been spaded yet, but she will be between now and probably Christmas. Uh, we tend, we had a, we had Cinder spaded when, as soon as they said that they should, and we felt like that was a little bit too early, and she's actually been on pro in because a lot of purebred dogs that get spaded young sometimes could have bladder issues. And, of course, ours does. So she takes pro in every day, and she's not a problem. But when she was a puppy, we couldn't understand why she, she kind of couldn't hold it during the nighttime, and it turns out because she was spaded too young. So we're going to make sure that she's just under a year old before we have her spaded uh, or before she has her first cycle. And uh, once again, I want to just remind anybody if you have questions about, um, we did not go to a, a formal breeder for a German Shepherd. We went to a private uh, family in Arizona who had two German Shepherds who, by the way, her mom had white eyes. Uh, the blue eyes. Uh, were they blue? Yeah. And so one of the puppies actually had one blue eye and one brown eye. Um, and we thought that was just a, a little too freaky. It was a cute puppy. But we tend to went with her, and I'm actually glad we made a good choice because she's turned out to be a great pet. And uh, I think she, uh, because she's a German Shepherd, she also, everybody's a little bit intimidated by German Shepherd. Um, and I, I can understand why. So when someone comes to our property and she's barking the way she does, it looks scary, but she never heard a fly. Um, and I kind of like that protection on the property because it's hard to watch five acres. I mean, people mm -hmm. come on the property and we don't know it. And thank goodness the dogs let us know. So, Cinder, come here. You don't want to miss out on treats, do you? Come here. So anyway, I hope that answers some of your questions uh, about these two dogs. Once again, she's only eight months old, going on nine. Yep. And Cinder's eight over years. eight years? Yeah, she just turned eight years. Oh, she just turned, oh, it is September. So yeah, she just turned eight years old. Gosh, I can't believe that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and she's going strong. I think she'll be around with us for a long time. Uh, cross our fingers, because she's a great dog. Yeah, she's good. So, uh, and uh, once again, if you have any questions, let us know. I want to take, uh, please take the time to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, the likes, by the way, hit the likes a lot. I, I hear that helps with the algorithms a little bit. So, and make sure and share this with all your puppy friends. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure almost every video we do is probably going to have Cinder or Belle in it because they're always with us. They follow us everywhere. So, anything you want to add? Nope. And I do most of the talking. That's okay. <laughs> Um, I do know you and I were going to do a video about something else too. Oh, the prepping. So stay tuned. In a couple of days, we're going to do the finish up on the 30-day prepping. Um, I did a live feed thing, and I couldn't remember half the comments that you told me. But uh, we'll do a kind of a final video on that in a couple of days. Tell you what our observations were about the one-month um, challenge. Uh, what was it? One-month prep challenge. Yeah. And uh, we actually learned a few things from it ourselves. And so, uh, uh, once again, without telling people to go into their preps, uh, it was I, I urge you to go through those series of videos so you can kind of see what we're talking about if you haven't seen them. But there is a playlist just for the prepping. But um, don't forget when you are prepping, don't forget about your animals. Uh, if you got cats, you may want cat litter. Here we got really good dirt, so we could actually use our dirt if we had to make a litter box. But make sure you have food for your cat. Make sure you got food for your dog. Make, uh, keep an extra bag. We usually do. 
fish food. Fish, we have oh, fish. fish food too. And the pond. We got fish food for the koi. koi. So uh, when you're prepping, don't forget about your pup, your pups and their medicines or anything that they need. Like I told you earlier, Sidra takes Proin, so we keep at least almost a six month supply of Proin for her. And uh, don't tell her uh, don't tell her vet that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's all we got. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.